This is the second video of two parts about installing MacOS onto emulators. In this part, I'll show you how to install System 7.5 and MacOS 8.1 in Basilisk 2 and MacOS 9.0.4 in SheepShaver. This video assumes that you've already installed System 7 in Mini VMac. First, load System 7 in Mini VMac. Run Import FL. System 7.5.3 comes as 19 part files, and the System 7.5.5 net install update is a separate download. You should be able to get these from Apple. Select the first 10 files and drag them into Mini VMac. Save each of them to a disk where you have room for them. Do it again for the remaining 10 files. You can now delete those if you want. Select all of the files and drag them to the Stuff It Expander alias to decompress them. You can now drag all of those to the trash. Double click the Part 1 SMI file to mount it. Skip the verification. Now drag the system 7.5 installers.hfv over. Initialize the disk. Open both it and the System 7.5 disk. Select the files in the System 7.5 disk and drag them over to the installer's disk. Close that. Go to the bottom, select the System 7.5.5 Update folder, and drag it over the other disk. You can adjust the window now if you want, and then you can shut the emulator down. I'd suggest running Basilisk 2 GUI when you want to adjust settings, like you need to do now. First, add the MinSys 7 disk. Then, create a disk to hold your actual drive on. I set this to be a 300 megabyte image. Finally, add the System 7.5 installers.hfv image. My computer thingy down here doesn't ever seem to work for me, so I import files through Mini VMac. Under Graphics and Sound, set the refresh rate to dynamic and set whatever resolution you want to. Under Memory slash MISC, set the RAM to 32 megabytes or more, and be sure to set a ROM file.
Now you can start the emulator. Initialize your System 7.5 disk. Double click the installer. Switch the disk to your new disk. Go to custom install. Click on System Software for this Macintosh. Click Assistance, Multimedia, and Utility. Now click Install. Quit and shut down. Now go back to the configuration GUI. Remove the MinSys 7 disk. And restart the emulator. Now go into the System 7.5.5 update and run the installer. Shut it down again. Go into the configuration again. Remove the System 7.5 installer's disk. Add the System 6 and 7 software disk and the System 7.5 software disk. You can also add the System 7 software disk if you want to install stuff from that disk, like disk copy. I forgot to do that when I was recording this. You should probably install desktop from this disk, because it can be so useful. From the System 7.5 software disk, you should first install Aladdin Expander 5.5. Then drop stuff 5.5. Next comes the appearance SDK. Drag the font files to your system folder. Drag the extension to your system folder. Drag Appearance C dev to your main drive. Rename it to Appearance. And drag it to the Control Panels folder. Now go to this folder and drag the Preferences file to the Preferences folder in the System folder. You should also check the README for this, as there's one or two files in the system folder you might need to move out of it. Then there's CFM68K. Drag the extension and library to the system folder. If you want text-to-speech, you can install it from here. If you want to be able to print in the emulator, you'll need to drag print to PDF to the system folder. And then go to the chooser and select it for your printer.
Disinfected is a virus scanner. Tech Tool lets you do stuff like rebuild the desktop. Drag Thing is a dock if you want one. And then there's File Typer and Type Resolve, which make it easy to change file types. Kaleidoscope lets you change the system theme. Open the Schemes folder and drag Aqua 3 into it. Now you can change the theme, for instance, to a BIOS theme. Or Aqua 3, which gives it an early OS 10 Aqua look. But you should make a backup of your hard drive image before testing out schemes, as some of them can crash the system and render it unbootable. Decor lets you set desktop pictures. Ah yes, that. Kaleidoscope is shareware and it nags you to register. Unfortunately, Kagi went out of business years ago, so you can't register it anymore. So, to show you how to convert desktop pictures, I'll first shut this down. Load GIMP or something else. Here's an image. First, rescale to the desktop resolution you're using in the emulator. Then export the image. If you're exporting it as a JPEG, be sure to turn off progressive mode or it won't be readable on the Mac. Now load up Mini VMAC. Load up Import FL and drag the image over and save it to your shared disk. You can now shut that down. Make sure that your shared disk is attached to the emulator. Now I'll go into File Typer and Example Auto Typers. Drag the image on a JPEG View Auto Typer. Now you can select your image with the Change button. And turn it on over here. If you want to be able to read PDFs in this, you can install Adobe Reader right here. For networking, I've included a newer version of OpenTransport than what's included with System 7.5. 
Of course, you'll have to actually enable networking to make it work, and that's beyond the scope of this video. For web browsers, there's Netscape Communicator and iCab, even though you may very well have to use a proxy to make them work with modern websites. And that's it for System 7.5. 8.1 is next. If you want to install MacOS 8.1, I would suggest using a separate Basilisk 2 install for it. I'm using an ISO image of 8.1 here, and you need to make sure that the file is set to read-only in its property sections, or it'll complain about it not being read-only, and it won't boot. Next, create a blank disk. I prefer a 400 megabyte image for macOS 8.1. Again, set the refresh rate to dynamic and set your resolution. Here, be sure to set the system type to a Mac OS 8 Quadra, and you may as well set the processor to 68040, much like a real Quadra. Initialize your drive here. Run the installer. Just click through everything. Once you get here, click Options and uncheck Update Apple Hard Disk Drivers. Click Customize. Uncheck Quick Draw 3D as that's PowerPC only. Check Quick Draw GX and Text to Speech. Click Start. Go up here and set custom install. Check system software for this computer. Assistance, multimedia, utility, maybe international. Now click install. Click continue and install whenever prompted during the installation process. When it's finally done, click quit and shut down. Now swap the install CD with the hard drive. Quit out of the setup assistant or it'll crash. There's other software on the CD you can install. Beyond that, you can install software from the software disks I've provided. Versions of Mac OS beyond 8.1 are PowerPC only, and so you'll need Sheep Shaver for them. It is possible to install 8.5 with it, but the sound doesn't work, so I'd suggest you use 9.0.4, but not anything later than that, because later ones don't work on it either. So, open the Sheep Shaver GUI. Add the Mac OS 9.0.4 ISO. 
Remember that it needs to be set to read only in Windows. Then create an image for the hard drive. I prefer a one gigabyte image for this. The graphics setup is the same as Basilisk 2. I put in 128 megabytes of RAM here. And be sure to set your ROM image. Also, make sure that JIT is selected or it's going to be slow. Now you can start it. Initialize your hard drive image. Run the Mac OS 9 installer. At this point, click Options and uncheck the Update Apple Hard Disk Drivers. Click Customize. Select whatever you want to install. Now you can click Start. You can now quit and shut down. Reload the GUI and swap the disk images. Quit out of the setup assistant or it'll crash. Now run the 9.0.4 update installer. And you'll need to uncheck Update Apple Hard Disk Drivers under Options again. Now you can start the update. Now go to the Apple menu, control panels, and sound. And click the built-in sound output to enable sound. There is, of course, other software on the CD you can check out. That's it for these videos. Subscribe if you liked it, because there's more like this on the way, and... See you next time.